On the 29th of June 2020, at 9am, Diamond Craft Season 1 began. Today I'll be talking about the history of Diamond Craft, but before I start the video I do need to say a few things. Everything that is mentioned in this video is coming from my memory and discord chats, so there could be a few things that are not historically accurate. So don't rage at me in the comments. Now let's get into it. Before getting my PC, I knew that I would be wanting to get Minecraft Java Edition. Big Boy H-Man already had Java for a while before I got my PC, and at around the same time I had discovered Sunday's new Crazy Craft series, which made me want to make a Crazy Craft series of my own with Big Boy H-Man, Zeta, and Nexus Berry. Big Boy H-Man had been wanting to play Pixelmon with me when I eventually got Java. Him wanting me to play Pixelmon with him definitely made me get Java sooner. After I got Java, me and Big Boy H-Man played some Pixelmon, but I still really wanted to make this Crazy Craft server, but Zeta didn't have Java yet, so while I was waiting for him to get Java, all three of us, but mainly me and Big Boy H-Man, were researching how to host a Minecraft server. At this point, we didn't know about server hosts, so we were researching how to run a server on your own computer. Big Boy H-Man then decided he would be the one who hosts the Crazy Craft server on his computer. After many hours of researching on how to set it all up, I came across this video by The Pink Sheep, and it was on how to host a free Minecraft server. In this video, it introduced us to server hosts, and the specific server host in this video was Minehunt. After finding out about Minehunt, we did a lot more research to see if we could find a better free server host. We never did, so on the 28th of the 3rd, 2020, which is the oldest record I could find, Big Boy H-Man made a vanilla Minehunt server for me, him, and Zeta to play on. I guess you could say this was a test to see how good Minehunt servers are. Now, for just a bit of fun side history, with the server, when Big Boy H-Man made it, for the first time we didn't know about whitelisting so after making a bit of progress it wasn't huge amounts of progress but after we made a bit of progress a hacker joined who was in creative mode and burnt down our whole world so we needed to start over again i thought that'd just be some interesting side history not really related to diamond craft we were still doing research on how we could run the crazy craft server and we ended up finding out that to run a modded server we would need a lot of ram which would cost money as there's no free server hosts that are free with lots of RAM. So I decided that we should not do the Crazy Craft server anymore and instead we should do a SMP for YouTube, which is now Diamond Craft. And after a lot of thinking of names, I eventually came up with Diamond Craft, which is what it is known as now. On the 5th of the 4th, 2020, we officially became the OG Diamond Crafters. And after deciding we were going to have the SMP instead of the Crazy Craft server, we wanted Diamond Craft to be like Hermit Craft in ways. At this time, we had basically got to end game on our three person server, and we weren't really playing on it anymore. So, we were looking for data packs we could add to Diamond Craft, and after we found some data packs that you could choose to install on your Minehunt world through actually Minehunt, on the 9th, the 4th, 2020, Big Boy H-Man made for Gamer, which was our test Diamond Craft server, you could say. We had invited two more people to play with us, LHW and M2 Gaming. We had decided to start Diamond Craft Season 1 when 1.16 came out, so we had quite a while to prepare, and we were still enjoying for Gamer. Then on the 10th, the 5th 2020 I made a Minehunt server of my own for me Zeta and Big Boy H-Man to make a video on the rules of Diamond Craft which we did end up recording but I never actually ended up editing it and it was just kind of forgotten. Me and Big Boy H-Man later ended up using that server to plan out the DCDA. We wanted Diamond Craft to be a good quality SMP like Hermitcraft so we wanted to find a good world seat as well. After a bit of research we found Mine Atlas and we began searching but this was a slow process so we did some research on automatic seed finders that would allow us to put in the biomes we wanted in a one or two thousand area from spawn and we eventually found Sasa, which is really good for finding seeds. And finally, after many hours of searching, it gave us the Diamond Craft seed. We also discovered Vanilla Tweaks, which has all the data packs that Hermacraft uses. So we chose all the data packs that we wanted, and I researched how to add them to Minehunt, as data packs that aren't already on Minehunt system have a much more different and complicated way to add them to Minehunt and your servers. Finally, 1.16 came out, so it was 
almost time to start Diamond Craft Season 1, but we had to wait for all the data packs and mods like Optifine to be updated. So in that time I made the Diamond Craft logo, which is what you see in all of that video thumbnails, and then eventually all of the mods and data packs were updated, so we chose the date to start the season. I then had to put all of the data packs on the server, and I started doing this on the 28th, which was the day before Diamond Craft started, and I think I probably spent a good two to three hours installing all of the data packs onto Minehut, and then all I needed to do, the very last thing, is I just needed to change the seed of the world to the one that we wanted, but instead of restarting the world, I restarted the server, which meant all of the data packs were no longer installed on the server, which meant I had to reinstall all of the data packs on the morning of when Dimecraft was meant to start, but I did manage to do it in the end. In the morning Dimecraft started, it was very stressful trying to get all the data packs on and working and making sure everyone was there but it ended out as a success other than a few data packs not working which i then did fix later on on that first day five of the seven people who could join were actually playing that being me zeta big boy h man john and m2 gaming with the other two people being lhw and ben Mac. after the first day of Dimecraft, john started hosting the server and he did this because the minehut server was a bit laggy and he also hosted on a paid server which was also another bonus. After a while, people then started to not play on it anymore and it just kind of died down. And you can watch my video on the rise and fall of Diamondcraft if you want my opinions on why I think that'll happen. But by the time Diamondcraft had officially ended, a total of 14 people had access to the server and played on it at some time. All 14 of these people were me, Zeta, Bigbo Hman, John Swords, LHWGT, a Rage Gamer, M2 Gaming, Recoil, Pocket, Burjo Turbo, Game Aiden Epic, Ben Mag, Sneakum Smash, aka Nexus Berry, who, if you're wondering why he didn't play from the very beginning, he had Java Edition, but he like didn't have Java Edition at the same time, like he forgot his login and he then ended up purchasing a new account or something way later down the track. And then finally, Mr. Discombobulate. I then eventually got the world download, which you can go watch my video on as well. And other than that, that is pretty much all the history of Dimecraft so far. So what's next to Dimecraft? Well, the second season of Dimecraft is coming and it's just around the corner. So make sure you stay tuned as there will be even more people on Dimecraft season two than in Dimecraft season one and more people will be recording as well. But other than that, I think I am done now. And if you have any other Dimecraft related videos that you would like me to make kind of like the Dimecraft videos that I've been doing recently, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. So goodbye.